Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. As the name would suggest, I typically talk about Reaper on this channel. I've got a birthday coming up soon, so I ordered a gift for myself, and it dawned on me that I've never done an unboxing video. I invite you guys to join me as I unbox my new birthday present. Before I get into the unboxing, a little bit of housekeeping. YouTube has recently opened up the option for memberships on my channel. Your words of encouragement and also financial contributions help to motivate me to continue making content. As of today, I'm opening up the option for membership with a very low rate to start, but I'd like your help with determining what types of membership perks you'd like to see. Again, contributing to the channel financially is not mandatory. I'll continue to create free content. With that said, let's get on to the unboxing. I'm not left-handed, so I should probably stick with my right hand. And I should probably avoid the Glenn Fricker incident and be sure to cut away from myself. This day does not need to end with a trip to the emergency room. Definitely could stand to sharpen my knife. Or maybe just cut at the appropriate angle. That would help too. Interesting packaging. I ordered an extra set of D'Addario NYXL strings. I really like the sound and the feel of these. This is the 9 to 42 gauge. Alright, our box is slightly dinged up from shipping despite being packaged so well inside of two boxes and all of this foam, but I'm pretty sure it survived without issue. Or at least I hope so. This was ordered from Sweetwater, but is not sponsored by Sweetwater. I did pay for this with my own money. And wait a minute, did they not give me any candy? There better, better be candy in this. It's the most important part. Candy. And a third box. So this was a triple boxed guitar. Ugh, running out of space. Oh, that was an accident waiting to happen. Let's flip this over. And my apologies for only having the single angle, but I only have one camera. Just have to look up occasionally and make sure that I'm still in frame over there. All right. Get this packaging out of the way. And we'll turn this around so you can see it. This certifies that my new instrument has passed Sweetwater's 55 point inspection and is ready to play. This was inspected by Tony and Dwayne. And this is very lightweight, a lot lighter than I expected. Uh, there were a few different ones to choose from and I chose the one that was showing to be uh, about seven and a half pounds. The others were eight to eight and a half. And this is the vintage satin blonde finish. Give this a quick feel test. Out of tune a bit, so it's not exactly ready to play like they said on the package, but the neck is thin and feels quite nice. I'll put the camera away for a second and get this set up and ready to play, and we'll give it a play test. I've got the guitar unboxed and tuned up. Here's a bit of a closer look. Now let's switch over to Reaper and get some sound samples. I've got a blank project pulled up with a single track and I'm running Reamp Studio from Audio Assault. I'm using a Marshall JCM 800 emulation, or as they call it, Mars Hell JMC 800. That really messes with my dyslexia. And for cab simulation, I'm running through their version of what looks to be a Zilla 4x12 using an SM57 for the microphone. Under the stomp section, I've got a compressor as well as a tube screamer. And with these settings, it sounds a little something like this. This will be on the bridge pickup with volume and tone controls at full. Rolling back the volume a bit, let's see how this cleans up. Mm -hmm. 
Switching to the middle pickup position with the volume and tone controls at full. And the neck pickup position. Let's try some lead licks in the neck position. I like the tone and the feel of the guitar. One thing that I am finding a little bit problematic about this is despite the 55 points of inspection from Sweetwater, I have a pretty bad amount of fret buzz on the first fret across the lower three strings. Not sure if you can hear that. Actually, it's across five of the six strings. So I'll need to do a little bit of a setup on this or possibly take it to the shop if it's outside of my skill set. Let's roll back the volume on the guitar and the gain on the amp and see how this works for some math rock style riffs. This should be a good test of the compressor pedal. I'll back up just a bit and see if I can get more of the guitar in frame. Let's increase the gain a bit and see how this works for something more metal. How about drop tunings? Overall, this Squire 40th Anniversary Edition Telecaster seems to be a pretty versatile guitar. I like the look and feel of it and believe it's going to be a great sister guitar to my Schecter 7 string. The action on the guitar feels great right out of the box, but that buzz on the first fret is very problematic. I'm really surprised that this passed through Sweetwater's 55 point inspection, but it's simple enough to fix this problem. As I run my hand down the fretboard, there's no rough edges and everything just feels and plays great. Thanks for joining me for my unboxing and initial review of this 40th Anniversary Edition Squire Telecaster. If you like the content you've been seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking to buy me a coffee. Sure would be a shame if somebody were to spill coffee on this brand new guitar. Or Super Thanks link below. We also have the membership option available now. And I've got links in the description showing products that I use in my studio. We'll see you next time.